as we get closer and closer to next gen gaming there are some things that I would definitely like to see return and some things I'd like to see change in terms of what we get in games for starters I definitely like to get more hack and slash games uh, hack and slash to me is a, is a good hack and slash game can be an extremely extremely fun experience um a bad hack and slash game could be pretty repetitive and tedious but man good hack and slash games are always fun and i feel like that that we that we haven't got enough especially especially uh especially from larger devs where we haven't gotten uh too many hack and slash games this gen i feel like most of them i've played were usually remasters of some form so hack and slash games i'd love to see make a comeback next generation like this gen was was pretty good when it came to fighting games right you know um i thought both mortal kombat games are fun and justice 2 is probably my favorite killer instinct is great um um tekken 7 uh and and even games like guilty gear and blaze blue had had a lot of you know had some a lot of success or fun games or were well received by the gaming community i hope next gen that applies to hack and slash games because i because i was looking back man and uh you know we we used to get the quite a few of them for a while but now I don't know. I don't know what happened to that genre. Um, another trend I'd like to see. I'd like to see RPGs stop trying to be Dark Souls clones. Now, I enjoy Dark Souls and Dark Souls style games for the most part. But there has been so many of them this generation. That, that part of me kind of sick of it. And, you know, some of them are successful, like The Surge 2 is probably the best Dark Souls clone to me. Uh, I felt like that, that, that hit the nail on doing something unique and fun, while also keeping the spirit of that style of game. But man, I, I just want RPGs to go back to being the fun, you know, the fun, creative style RPGs that... Because those type of RPGs to me are the best. The Kingdom of Amalar style RPGs. Because uh, cause for me, my favorite RPGs are definitely real-time combat, which is why I enjoy something like Final Fantasy XV. Although, put an asterisk on that because Final Fantasy XV was also the first Final Fantasy game I played. Uh, I would eventually get games like uh, the remastered of... 10 and 12 i believe they're the ones that were remastered and other final fantasy games that came to xbox and final fantasy 13 which is xbox one x enhanced and look it looks current gen i also have that but haven't really played it to the extent that i did 15 to know but but still like i prefer real real time combat in my rpgs i always enjoy different builds and stuff that's what makes the RPG great and a lot of fun, but but for me, Dark Souls, those styles of games, I need to be in the mood to play it. While most other styles of RPGs, I can just pick up and play. Even a game like Outward, Outward is a difficult game. It's you know, and it and even has survival aspects. But the game to me was a lot of fun, and the combat was great. Um, and I'm not saying Dark Souls combat is bad. No, no, no. I'm just saying that at times that style of RPG could be a bit tedious for me, and I definitely like to see, I definitely like to see devs pull back on, on trying to make these Dark Souls clones, because there are, there have been a lot of them. I mean, geez, Hellpoint, Mortal Shell, The Surge, uh, Lords of the Fallen, you know, these are just ones I'm naming off the top of my head. Sinner. I think it's like Center Redemption for Sacrifice or something like that. Yeah, there's been so many that 
and, and look, like I said, that, that's just off the top of my head. There are many more I'm forgetting that does that style. So those are oh and and the last one the last one I'd like to mention, uh, as much as I love open world games, open world is my second favorite genre genre behind RPGs. I definitely like to see, I definitely like to see the fact that not every game doesn't need to be open world. Uh, Ubisoft really went crazy with this formula. Uh, you could make the argument argument that that for example ghost recon games didn't need to be open world like they were and and other you know other games also a lot of games just fell in, especially early in the generation like early in the generation devs fell in love with making worlds as big as possible but they didn't exactly know how to capitalize on that and and a good open world game needs to be able to it needs to be able to capitalize on making that world feel, you know, feel, feel full, feel lively. Um, so I would definitely be okay with, with Des realizing that, that, that they don't need to make every world massively huge. It, it, you know, if the, if the gamer genre doesn't fit it, that that's definitely another trend. I, and, and then with games being as 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 expensive as and as they are now, I think it I think I think it's okay to 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 make a game, that, you know, you could make a nice big budget game without it being, um, without it being you know this super massive open world. I mean, when an open world game is done well, it's one of my it's a fake. Excuse me. Fair, hell, uh, uh, I mean, to be fair, there's been open world games that that probably aren't the best open world that I still enjoyed. It's a genre that I personally just love, but I could love a genre and still understand that some games just don't need to be these massive worlds. And and same with same with the pseudo RPGs, where like so the beginning of the generation games fell in love with making these massive open worlds and it felt like after the witcher 3 came out uh and towards the later half of the generation there became this love affair with making games pseudo rpgs like they'll put rpg elements but the games clearly aren't rpgs it, it's it's and, and so it could feel a little weird playing it where it's like your upgrades and your skills don't particularly matter, but for some reason it's in the game. But yeah, these are next gen. Uh, these are next gen things I'd like to see change. Um, so let me know what you think.